As you recall in an earlier training video, we learned how to create our tables, create the fields therein, and assign them a data type. Like the data type field here is auto number, and the rest of these are text fields where I can type in text or numbers or a combination of both. In any case, I want to introduce you to another data type field, and it's called the attachment field, where, just like it says, it allows you to attach like documents, zip files, and most images to your records here, and it will automatically compress the images and files if they aren't already. So to go ahead and add this other field with the data type attachment, let's well come up here, right click, go to the design view, and let's do attachment, hit the tab key, the data type, click on the drop down arrow, and it's right there, attachment. And then down below you got the option to add a caption. So what you see as the field name will be for you in the design view. They won't see that up front if you type something else here for the caption. So we can do something like clip, like paper clip. You want to attach something, clip it to this record. In any case, that's what I'm going to do. And then let's come up here, click on the view button, and be sure to save your table. And hey, ooh, let me scroll over. There it is, clip. So that's the caption that we see here, but back in the design view, the name of the field is attachment. And you can see we got zero attachments or clips to the field. And to add one or two or many, just go ahead and you can either right click on it and manage attachments, or you can click on add or close out. You can double click, opens up the same window. So we can click on add and it's like, okay, where are these? Well, there's the books image, double click. And let's add another. Let's add this document here, delete certificates path, double click. And when we're done, click OK. And hey, there you go, we have a total of two. Now you can see over here that it's still in right mode, so we haven't saved the record yet after we attached it. So we want to save it. Let's hold down the Shift key and hit Enter, and there we go. And then to go ahead and access those attachments, we can just double click on it to open it up. And you can actually, with it selected, click on Open or just double click on it and it'll open up that image in the program that is associated with this extension.png and so it's the Windows Photo Viewer and if you want to learn more about extensions you can watch my Windows training video on extensions close out and this is a document double click and there we go and so once you open it up you can of course well I put the save as on my quick access toolbar click on save as oh we got to enable saving And there we go, I can do it to the desktop and then save it right there so it's on my desktop now out of the attachment. Well, it's still there, but it's a, as a copy. And click cancel, minimize this down to the taskbar, and there it is. You can do it that way or let's restore this by clicking on the button. You can double click to open it up and just say, hey, I want to take this and save as. And that way you don't have to open it up to be able to get inside that file and that program that it opens it up in to save it to your desktop. You can go to the desktop and click save, but since I already have it there, it says, do you want to replace it? Okay, so you can do it that way. In fact, you can take all the attachments and say, okay, save all of them and dump them all on the desktop or in a folder on your desktop or wherever you'd like. And then of course, to go ahead and get rid of them, you can select it and remove it, but I don't want to do that, so I want to add it. And it's in the exercises folder on the desktop and the delete certificates path and click okie dokie and we're in pencil mode so shift enter to save it and the reason why I want to keep it there is because I want to show you that when you create a form based upon a table that has this attachment field I want to show you what it looks like so let's go ahead and close out of here we got the table selected come up here click on the create tab let's go to the forms group and let's do form and there we go it's right there but we're not in the actual form view, so let's right click on it. We're in layout, let's go to form. And so there it is. And to be able to access it, you can see when I hover over it, it says double click to view or add attachments. You can double click, you can view them or add them, click cancel, you can right click on it. And when you do that, you can not only manage the attachments, but let me click cancel, as you saw there when you right click on it, you can go forward and it takes you to the next clip that's in there and right click and go backwards and if you actually click on it you see that little mini bar up at the top you can go forward and backwards as well and also click on that little clip to manage the attachments so it's there you can still manage it within a form 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.